What was a wonderful welcome in downtown Dallas has become a scene of indescribable horror. Faces are ashen white, and people are wondering, is our president going to live? Would any collection be without fake fur? That's right. <laughs> it is seen all over this year, and it's so smart. Yeah. This is Little Red Riding Hood. Boy, it certainly is. All bundled up and ready to go out in the hill. Then there's zippers up the side so that the jacket will fit tightly around the hips, keeping that straight, sleek look that it should have. And very often, you'll find a zipper hidden in the uh, arm. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You'll excuse the fact that I'm out of breath, but about 10 or 15 minutes ago, a tragic thing from all indications at this point has happened in the city of Dallas. Let me quote to you this. And I'll, you'll excuse me if I am out of breath. A bulletin, this is from the United Press from Dallas. President Kennedy and Governor John Connolly have been cut down by assassin's bullets in downtown Dallas. They were riding in an open automobile when the shots were fired. The president, his limp body carried in the arms of his wife, Jacqueline, has rushed to Parkland Hospital. Uh, and if you'll excuse me if I give some directions and we talk about what we're going to do here for the next few minutes, but Bobby, let's tape this, if you please, particularly the interview with the eyewitness people. It is being taped good. And you will excuse me, I don't want to interrupt you. I I'm so sorry because I know that you were so upset, but I would like to talk to you for a minute. It's a little bit awkward, so the camera shots will have to fall as they may. I'm gonna stand right here and maybe somebody can give me a chair while we're doing this. May I have your